Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nerden here once again. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing the possibility of a animated series for Doctor Who. Now this wouldn't necessarily have to be a full series perhaps in terms of series 13 being entirely animated. But it's just been over the past few years we've had the missing episodes from Doctor Who have been animated or from the classic series where we've had parts of the um, full serials that have been missing. So, so for example the 10th planet was missing the final part I believe or one of the last couple parts and that was completely restructured with animation. So it just makes you think doesn't it? Could Doctor Who do an animated series perhaps as a spin-off or something because obviously it's going to be a long time until we get a series 13 and it's not the first time we've had a Doctor Who animated series um, that's coexisted alongside the current show. As David Tennant had two that I'll be showing in an article in a second that does bring up the possibility of an animated series in terms of speculation and what the BBC have said in the past. But yeah, it's very exciting just because obviously with uh, the current climate as well with social distance filming, perhaps, yeah, series 13 is going to take a long time to film and get ready. So perhaps there could be a way around this and we could just simply have an animated spin-off series with the current cast. So with Jodie Whittaker and uh, Mandip Gill and presumably Tosin Cole and Bradley Walsh, depends on if they leave at the end of Revolution of the Daleks or not, we could just have a spin-off series that is just like light-hearted adventures, maybe like 15-minute animated episodes or something like that. They'll be pretty cool to just tie us over until Series 13 eventually airs. But I am going to explore this article now from the Radio Times where they talk about the possibility of a... Um, animated series so let's have a look so here we go so the names of the two David Tennant uh, animated series that were originally released during his run so uh, we had 2007's The Infinite Quest which was amazing and it starred uh, Tennant and had uh, a lot of amazing guest stars by the look of it I don't actually remember seeing this one but it had uh, Freema in as well so that's really awesome and uh, we had 2009's Dreamland that I think I remember seeing that one only once though but again 2009 was a very important year for Doctor Who because that was the transition year between Russell T Davis and Stephen Moffat and Russell T Davis only released like a few special episodes that was Planet of the Dead, Waters of Mars and The End of Time Part 1 and then we got Part 2 on New Year's Day 2010 so that could follow in suit with next year where we probably won't get series 13 but we could get an animated series as a replacement perhaps and then obviously recently there's been an animated vr story as well called the runaway that has recently won an emmy that's pretty interesting or actually no it's a nomination whoops but yeah um regardless the fact that it's being put up for an emmy is pretty amazing not gonna lie and that's something that could show that the BBC might want to put those efforts in and do more animated stuff, perhaps, with the same crew. That would be pretty interesting. Like, obviously not purely in virtual reality, but, you know, do some other animated stuff. It would be pretty interesting. And apparently, uh, within the BBC, uh, the person that is behind some of the recent animated reconstructions of Lost Classic episodes... Uh, he has said that nothing is off the table when it comes to animating the current series. So perhaps there could be animations for completely new stories, perhaps. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is kind of the speculation that's going around that we could perhaps get an animated series now. And obviously, with The Runaway uh, you know, being nominated for an Emmy, and from what I've seen of that episode, uh, it's really good. And it's a good take on the 13th Doctor, in my opinion. I Obviously, it was voiced by Jodie Whittaker as well. And I feel like it's a good start for getting some animated material for Doctor Who that's not necessarily tied to just the classic series. So, we don't know what's going to happen. But it would make sense for 
Doctor Who to perhaps use an animated series as a filler for next year. So we could get like eight 15 minute episodes. That's just me doing a guesstimate there, but it would be pretty cool to see. But anyway, I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more nerdy content as we are very close to 900 subscribers. So that would be pretty cool to reach that by the 15th of August. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.